Clint, you all right? Oh, I'm great. I'm great, thanks to John. He kept me going until the ambulance got there. Did you see you have to be out of bed? Kenny's he's driving all the nurses crazy, trying to get up and walk around. So we compromised and took him out for a spin. Boy, I am so ready to go home. No, oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute, young lady. You got shot. I know, but I think I'm fine. And we're very lucky. Not everybody was. I uh, tried to call Jessica this morning when I found out that Robert was dead. Yeah. <clears throat> and Ella. She was still in her room when I left, and I don't think she slept. And this, the paper. How is Star taking this? It's got to be hard on the kid. At least Hannah's in custody. Yeah. And that Miss Mitch is finally dead. Thank God and amen. You know, it's very hard to believe after all these years. Well, all the escapees have been rounded up except for Alice and Perkins, and we have officers posted here at the hospital. Yeah, and I will get BE security in here, too, because she is not going to get a second shot. Any idea why she took the first one? What do you mean? Well, on Alice and Escape, she... She went straight for landfare. You know what she wanted? You know, it might help us track Allison if, if we knew what she was thinking. Good luck with that. The woman is 10 bricks short of a load. So she did talk to you? Ranted is more like it. You think Mitch sent her? Well, she said that she was on her own and that Oprah had given her special orders to get her powers back. All right, so, so Mitch didn't send her and Yet she ended up at Landfair anyway. Do you, do you know why she might have taken a shot at Vicky? Well, she's Allison, you know. Who knows? Did she say anything to you? Uh, n no. That's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna get to work. If you think of anything, please, uh... We'll give you a call, John. I, I'm gonna go take care of Jessica. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I'm glad you'll be with her. Call me later, all right? And you take care of yourself. I will take care of Jessica. Thank you. Okay. John, you took good care of Natalie last night. Thank you for doing that. Yes, thank you. I'm glad I could be there. I'm glad to see you two together today. OK, I'll see you guys later. All right, bye, honey. Clint. Yeah. We just lied to the chief of detectives and our daughter. Yep. But we had to. We couldn't tell the police why Allison came to see us. What if she was lying about Jesse being mine? Well, I certainly don't trust her, but would she really lie just for spite or, or for fun? Who knows? Maybe both. Maybe she doesn't even know the truth herself. I know, but... Please, uh, please don't say it. I have to. I'm hopeful. I really am. Aren't you? Uh, it makes so much more sense that you are Jessica's father as well. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to do anything until I know the truth. No, I, I mean, I understand that. We can't get Jessie's hopes up for nothing, you know. It's the last thing she needs now after Robert's death. Obviously, we have to find out for certain first. I know just the man for the job. Oh, Vimbo, come in. You wanted to see me? Yes. I have a job for you. I don't work for BE anymore. Vimbo. This is for me, personally. No, 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 wait a minute. It's nothing like the last time I asked you to do something. It is nothing illegal. Forgive me if I'm, I'm not convinced. Well, would you take my word for it? I promise you, Mr. Patel, we are not asking you to do anything nefarious. On your word, Ms. Lord, I'll do it. Thank you. As long as it doesn't involve DNA tests, or paternity results, or the need for absolute secrecy. Actually, it involves all three of those things. No, I swore I'd never do this again. Well, maybe this will take the sting off it. Carry a checkbook in your robe? Yeah. Comes in handy, don't you think? Um, I think you forgot a decimal point. No, 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 I didn't. All those zeros are for you. Come on, you went to jail for me. I owe you. And a new house and, and college tuition for all my unborn children? Memo, you deserve it. Now then, I need your discretion. Are we clear on what you're going to do? Yeah. Let's compare your DNA results to your daughter, Natalie. No! Bimbo, no, no, your daughter, Jessica! It was a joke! <laughs> you're right. You're right. Too soon.
How soon do you think we'll get an answer? Very soon, but I hope it's the right answer. Listen, even if Allison was lying again, it would never change who you are to Jessica. You will always be her father. I know that. But Vicky, this is as much for her as it is for me. I know. I would love to be able to erase Mitch Lawrence from her life. I would love that too. What would you love, Dad? I would love to find some way to make you happy. It's not your job, Dad. Not today. Darling, I'm so very sorry about Robert. I still can't believe he's gone. But at least he is the last person that Mitch Lawrence will ever hurt. I'll never be free of him, but at least Ryder will be. Ford gave the best gift that he ever could give to his son. Yes, he did. Ryder and Bree will never even have to think about that man. You will be the only grandfather that they will ever 